Welcome back guys, Nick up here at Maple Motors in Hendersonville, Tennessee and today we got a 95 Camaro. This is a Z28 LT1 car with a built motor. So this should be a pretty quick test drive. I'm excited, I actually like these cars. I'm into this model, I guess when I grew up, uh, everybody had them in high school, so that's what I want. <laughs> I got one sitting over in the parking lot. All right guys, what we're gonna do is take this down the road, point out any kind of flaws, see how she runs, let you know anything that I find. Look at the 100 detailed pictures at maplemotors.com. The finance options, the shipping options we provide. And if you don't mind, hit subscribe, like, it's about that time. Let's go for a ride. Before we take off, we'll look around the interior. Place your bet. You think the horn works on this one? I would have to say it does. I haven't tried it yet, but I would have to say it does. A little newer here in a 95 model. It is an automatic, which is okay. It does have 96,000 miles. That'll help this car out quite a bit. The ABS light I noticed was on when I pulled it up. And the security light's on. I don't actually have the key fob to this one. I'm not sure why the security light is on. We'll let the AC run a minute, see how cold it gets. Radio. Radio is working. AC feels moderately cold right now. Digit temperature is on the low side. I'm sure it will come up. Gas gauge, we're 100% going straight to the gas station. Make sure we get some fuel on this ride. Oil pressure is halfway up. Tax working and the gauge is working on pretty much across the board. I already see this one coming up. Wipers? There they work. Yep. Horn? Both sides working. Interior? It looks pretty good. Got the T-tops, headliners clean. Is the dash cracked? That's one thing. Yep. All these end up cracking. It's because the thin, cheap dashes. They really are. Yeah, I ordered a replacement one uh, for mine when I first got it. Window motors? That one's slow. So I do know on these windows, I've had to replace quite a few. This passenger one's gonna have to be replaced because now I'm gonna have to help it up. This one, I bet it's already been done on this side. All right, let's hit the road. See how she runs and drives. Okay, so we're getting ready to take off here. Anything I see, I will let you know. Here we go. power seat works. Speedometer's coming up, tax working, and it's got a little bit of a left pull. Well, let's try it again. Yeah, it fades a little bit to the left there. Steering is nice and tight. Got plenty of pull. Runs good. Do have a service engine light on. Uh, sometimes when they build the motors on these, those will pop on. It just turned off. So the service engine light has cut off and it was on. It's not running funny or nothing's off about it. I'm surprised the check gauge light ain't on since we're so light on gas. We're all the way down on E. Airbag light is on here. So we've got security, ABS, and airbag, and the service engine light cut on when I floored it. Cut right back off. Quite it nice and smooth. She's got a lot of pep. Definitely feel it in that motor. Ship kit, pretty good ship kit too. Signals popping up on the dash. Let's pull in here, get about $25 worth of premium gas, and keep this test drive rolling. I like how aggressive this car is. It 
deal. I'll be right back, guys. Okay, so it was, I put premium in all these cars. Everybody's asking about gas prices here. It's 25 for five gallons for premium. You put it in right here. It's got a decent cap on it. Let's go ahead. I know the gas cage has got to work on this one. It was on dead empty. Let's see what it got us. And it's on its way up. What are these, like 12 gallon tanks? A little under, well it's at half right now. Over half now. Let's go ahead and take off here. Okay, so far so good. Let's go ahead and take off, head back to the car lot now. We'll put her in drive instead of overdrive this time. fairly smooth going down the road I wouldn't say it's the uh, smoothest ride of the day but it feels pretty good A school bus coming up here she definitely gets silly spins the tires with no problem at all which is to be expected with this car especially with a built motor
Okay. I really hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Don't forget to hit subscribe. That helps me out a lot. And I do appreciate that. But next up is coming, picking out the flaws. We're going to be looking for chips, scratches, rust, whatever I can find. That way you know the rest about this ride. I do thank you. I'll see you here in a minute. Okay, now we're going to be picking out the flaws. Look at the detail pictures at maplemotors.com and let's get started. Coming up on the front end of this one, it does have a few chips. You can see them right here in the front. You got a little scratch down here at the bottom. You also got a touch up mark over here and some spider web looking cracks right below the marker light. Looks like that m one has got some issues too. A couple little spots here and there. Get a little spot there. Top of the fender here. Chips back here from rocks. Scratches on the door there. A couple more chips in the back here. Spot there. Black lines and chips back here from rocks. Back corner here. Big old spider web. So right there. Gas cap's not exactly flush either. Little scratches on top of the fender there. Of course, I'm filling your screen with this stuff here, so sorry about the shadow. It's the time of the day. Little spot there. I'm going to put my back over here so that we don't miss anything. A couple little spots here. Mirror's got some cracks and more spider webs. Chips here on top of the fender. Light scuffs on this side too. Front windshield on this one looks great. It's in good shape. T-tops look pretty good. It's one of the first ones that I have seen that doesn't have bubbles all in it. <clears throat> but this piece would usually bubble up on this model car, and it's not at all. It looks nice and clean. Seal around that window looks good. Back bumper on this one, it's got some spots. Scratches right here on the back. Scratch there. Coming across this bumper, it's got a lot of little chips. Looking in your trunk here. Put the T-tops down in there. You can buy a little special order subwoofer to go in this corner here. spots the carpet back here but other than that pretty good shape seal looks good jams are clean do got some chips right here as we're coming down with this trunk lid looks like they put the ss style wing on here <clears throat> Z28s didn't come with the swoosh. Little crack here. Okay. Coming down this side. Spots here and there, chips on the back here. You can kind of see them spread out. Up and over the fender. Chips in the corner, on the bottom here. You can see them. Quite a few little chips on this one on the lower portions. A 
little scratch up here. Chip some tires on the inside there. Also right here. Crack right there, little spider webbing going on. And back over the top of this fender. Spot there. Corner here. Chip there. A couple specks on the mirror. Window on the front looks great. Same with your passenger window and your T tops. Little chip here. Yeah, I'm real shocked about this piece, unless it's been repainted. It does have a different wing, so they could have done the wing and that at the same time. Um, but the guys out there that know these cars, they'll, they'll know what I'm talking about here. The chip there. Back window's in good shape, okay. One thing about this, it's not lined up great. See how far it's coming out there and how high it's sitting here on the back here as well. Okay, let's go ahead and check out this interior and we'll get this motor started here in just a second. Door panel on this one, not bad. Button here sitting up a little bit. A little wrinkled in this area. May have been replaced. On your side's good. Your jams look pretty good. Your seat. Good shape. Carpet's not bad in this one either. Engine temperature actually came up on this one. Working good. And that check engine light hasn't cut back on since. Quiet motor. Under the hood's nice and clean. Hood is sitting a little high on the edge here. You do got a lot of chips and light scratches here on that edge. They kind of run around. They're a lot thinner up here, but there is a lot of little scratches. It's almost like a cat got a hold of it. Maybe not as bad as a cat, but <laughs> a lot of little bitty tiny scratches. Uh, if I step back a little bit, I can see on the hood there's a dent here. Right there and here. Also another one right here. In the middle of the hood. Okay. I do appreciate you watching. If you're new to the channel, hit subscribe and share. That helps me out quite a bit. Go to maplemotors.com. Look at the detailed pictures, financing, and shipping options. For now, I'll see you later, guys. Have a good one.